Rainman Lift Pump Service. The lift pump is an impeller pump that lifts seawater and supplies positive water pressure to the high pressure pump. It is recommended that the rubber impeller inside the pump is replaced every 12 months or after periods of prolonged storage. Impeller wear and tear. Rubber impellers will crack and or swell over time. The top photo shows a new impeller on the left and a swollen one on the right. The bottom photo shows a cracked impeller. They are quite easy and inexpensive to change. Replacing a worn impeller is an important part of the maintenance routine to ensure smooth operation of a Rainman water maker. Lift pump location. Both the AC and DC naked models, the impeller pump is located at the end of the PSU. Both the AC and DC cased models, the impeller pump is located at the end of the PSU behind the pre-filter housing. Remove the pre-filter housing to access the lift pump. The petrol gasoline model, the impeller pump is located inside and above the high pressure pump. Parts to complete the service. Jabsco Impeller Profile D 22405001P or equivalent spec impeller from other brands. Tools to complete the works. A 7mm socket, needle nose pliers and a 2mm allen key. The lift pump impeller can be accessed through the triangular port. Using a 7mm socket, remove the three bolts and the triangular plate. The impeller can now be removed using needle nose pliers. Inside the service kit, you'll find an impeller, locating screw, lubricant, which is glycerine based and safe to use, and a rubber o-ring. You'll also find a paper gasket, which is not required for the service of this pump. Screw the locating screw into the impeller until it's even on both sides. Apply a slight smear of lubricant to the impeller. Replace impeller by hand or with the use of needle nose pliers using a rotating motion to bend the fins and align the cross screw with the slot in the shaft. Finally, install the black o-ring seal, position the triangular plate and reinstall the three locating screws. The service of the lift pump is now complete. Run the system and check for leaks.